Hi there. This is just a quick heads up that a clip surfaced of George R. R. Martin talking with his editor when World of Ice and Fire was coming out, in which he stated, yeah, I think the backstory of Tywin Lannister, young Tywin in the reigns of Castamir, that could sustain its own novel, or maybe three shorter books, if I had the time to write it, and I don't. And he was speaking loosely. I don't think it could really be like three full books, but like, you know, a novel, maybe shorter novella or something. Uh, to give backstory, and he explains it in the clip, I want to, I'm just directing you to it, that we knew this at the time, that he said, I knew the backstory of the reigns of Castamir. And I'm not talking about the event where they kill House Rain. That's the climax of that. I'm talking about the decades of rivalry between the Lannisters and Reigns that culminated in that. Like, even before Tywin was born, the rivalry between his mother and Lady Rain that was going on in the court intrigues between the two of them that the Reigns had basically usurped power in the Westerlands. That, telling in the comments, if you've read The World of Ice and Fire, you know. And actually, uh, there was a slightly longer pre-release version of that, which is online for free with Wayback Machine for the history of the Westerlands, so you could read that right now. And for that matter, they adapted it into a double-sized Histories and Lore video, the animated videos, uh, for a later season, that normally like two or three minutes. This was five minutes long, and it's narrated by Jamie, by Nikolai Kosterwaldau in character as Jamie, giving a pretty good summation of this long sidebar about the... Lannister Reign conflict, and in the Reign Rebellion, and the history of that. This is going back to like Tywin's grandfather, how Gerald was in power, but his older two sons were twins. They died in various circumstances. Both of them at one point had been married to Ellen, Ellen of House Reign. How did Tywin's father, the third son, Titus, who was unqualified, hadn't spent his life being trained because he was the third son and really was not good at ruling the Westerlands, ruling House Lannister. How did he come into that position? And then how Ellen Rain then married Lord Tarbeck, so it's the Rains and Tarbecks are related through marriage. And so now how Ellen Rain Tarbeck is it's her rivalries, intrigues. That I've said before, you sit down and read this and go, this could be a one shot TV season, like a mini series or could sustain a novel. That my point here, and this is the focus of this, whenever Martin says that story I allude to in the world book, or, or a side even in the main novels, that could be a novel unto itself, or a novella, that means it's okay to maybe make a TV spinoff about. In contrast, there's other things where Martin has never really encouraged a spinoff, like he never wanted to make a Long Night prequel even in book form, that that was them trying to cash in on a White Walker hype. He was really opposed to that. I don't know if you could do And All Invasions as, a, if they tried to make it a linear TV show, that is absurd. I do think you could do And All Invasions as like an anthology series, much as how the animated Histories and Lore did a pretty decent job of adapting bits of the And All Invasions, but as an anthology. That could work, because they're set centuries apart. The Long Night prequels, like, trying to weave all of it together into one story, like the Lannisters had nothing to do with the Long Night stuff. So that was all silly. But it's nice to hear and see Martin in his own words saying, I knew so much about the backstory of the Reign Rebellion, you know, this could have been a novel if I fleshed it out. That I do hope to see that as a, a prequel spinoff one day. That's going through the history of his parents, the rivalry with the Reigns, and the actual destruction of House Rain, that, that's the final battle in a long conflict. And in many ways, I think it would be sort of a direct sequel, a short direct sequel to Duncan Egg. Because at the very beginning of the story, because it spans generations, um, Egg, who is now King Aegon V, he's very old. This is the end of his reign. Uh, you get Tywin's father, Tytos, is in charge of the Westerlands, and he's so incompetent at it that he's unwilling to fight people who disobey him, and everyone realizes we can do whatever we want, teachers out, teachers a weakling, we can do whatever we want. 
that there's just chaos and private feuds and banditry going on in the Westerlands. It mentions three separate times old King Aegon V had to send in royal troops to restore order. This is like right at the beginning when Tywin is a child. Like, so this is like the tail end of, of the Duncan Egg era, that they mention them in passing. Then, of course, Summer Hall happens. And after Aegon V dies, when he's very old, the fifth and last Blackfyre Rebellion breaks out, the War of the Nine Penny Kings. And so you, you would see a war in this, that before the Reign Conflict, they say Tytos, who was a weakling, his sons earned their spurs and became warriors by going off and fighting in the Stepstones. And then they came back and emboldened, started trying to fight the Reigns to restore their control. So the whole reason the Fifth Blackfire Rebellion happened when it did is they were waiting for Aegon V to die because they knew he would be strong enough to fight them off. They were waiting for a transition period where things were a little unstable to try out the new king. So, hey, they're, they're a actively trying to develop a Duncan Egg TV show. I think you could do this concurrently because it happens so much later in, like, Elderly Egg, who's a very old man at the time, He's like a, a side character. You, they'd mention him. They wouldn't actually be in it. Point is, I've said many times before, I think this would be a good idea for a spinoff. And we strongly suspect this might have actually been one of the first five pitches they made. That the first five pitches were, well, we know three that advanced to the point they had scripts and story bibles were Long Night, Dance of the Dragons, which is House of the Dragon, and uh, Doom of Valyria. Peterson uh, revealed that, the linguist. The other two we didn't know directly, but Martin said, look, there's two stories from Fire and Blood Part 1, so logically if the second half is on the dance, the first half is on the Targaryen Conquest, and its aftermath through Maegor. So we're pretty sure the fourth idea was Targaryen Conquest and its aftermath. I have no idea what the fifth prequel pitch was. There's, I mean, maybe it would, they said it wasn't Duncan Egg. Duncan Egg was part of round two. Why would they pitch young Corliss when they were doing things as broad as that at that point, that they wouldn't have pitched that then? Nymeria, too similar to old Valyria. So the only two candidates I can really think of that have enough source material are young Tywin or the first Blackfire Rebellion, which I don't think they'd even try to suggest that because they never mentioned the name Blackfire in the original show, and when I say Blackfire Rebellion, I mean a seven-season show starting when he's a child, starting when his father is handed to the king to his cousin, Daeron I, the young dragon, invading Dorne, and that's like one season. Then season two is Baylor the Blessed. Then season three would be Aegon the Unworthy and all of his follies, which Martin has repeatedly said he wants to write a book about because there's a lot of stuff that went on. And then, like, season five to seven or something would be the actual Blackfire Rebellion somewhere in that region. You know, it's a little bit more loose than, like, the Dance of the Dragons era. It would span 50 years. But starting with uh, Daemon's father and then getting up to Daemon Blackfire, that given one or the other, given the state of things when they were pitching all these in 2016... I really think the fifth pitch was more probably Young Tywin and the Rain Rebellion than it ever could have been Blackfire, because people would have wanted to see. They know Tywin from, from the Game of Thrones, versus Blackfire was never mentioned in Game of Thrones. The name. In, in the animated stuff, yeah, but not this. So the point of this video is to point you to other videos. It, there were other points, just it's nice to see Martin in his own words saying, this could be a story in its own right, because if it could be a book... We're okay with him making a TV season about it. Not The Long Night. The Long Night, he never said that. But like um, like I said, how Targaryen Conquest plus Faith Militant Uprising could be like a seven-season show. He mentioned very specifically that the novella about the Sons of the Dragon era, about the Faith Militant, he went, this could be like three TV seasons, three books. The first, there's the outbreak of the rebellion under Enos the Weakling, the rise of Maegor, and the fall of Maegor. That's three short books which equals three TV seasons. That would be like seasons three through five of a Conquest show or something. So I don't know if this could be three short seasons of something, Young Tywin. I, you know, if you got good writers, you could always do that. But at the very least, I think a, a, a ten-episode, one-shot miniseries with a lot of time skips 
I don't know if I'd sit around for three TV movies, but whatever they do with that, that Martin thinks this is a story unto itself. Because if it can be a novel, it can be a TV project. And that's encouraging. It's good to see it. I'm going to archive this in wikis and stuff that Martin thinks this could be a show. It could be a novel, which could in turn be a show. And I'm fine with that. So the links to it are, it's actually Los Siete Reinos, the Spanish language website, found the clip, and they posted it on their personal YouTube thing. Yavi Marcos, he already posted that, so rather than post the clip myself, I'm going to do the right thing and just point you to his video clip of Martin saying this. This is all in the description box below and at the end of the video. Then I'm going to link you to someone loaded up online, Red Team Review already loaded up, the five-minute-long Reigns of Castamere thing, so I'm going to point you to that too and go, this could be a TV project. And then the third link is going to be to the online version of the History of the Westerlands that talks about this. So I'm just rambling this off quickly. I know I didn't have time to edit it very well. I'm sorry, keeping this relatively close to 10 minutes. Of here Martin in his own words saying, you know, the story of the Rain Rebellion, which starts before Tywin is born, but leads through his parents, through his birth, through his rise as a teenager. This could be like three short books or one really long book. Which, yeah, this could be, they're trying to make spinoffs. If there's, don't scrape the bottom of the barrel with made-up ideas. Maybe first we should start with spinoff ideas that Martin himself thought would be pretty good stories to tell. There is a story here waiting to be told of what shaped Tywin, what shaped the, the main generation of Lannisters in this in the story. That, or that he was reacting to the weakness of his father and all that, and all this other backgrounds. So it would be the story of the Fifth Blackfyre Rebellion as well. Like a Dunkin' Egg show would show the second through fourth rebellions, but not the fifth one because they're dead. And after, and it would be like a bridge between Dunkin' Egg to Robert's Rebellion. I don't think they'd actually show Robert's Rebellion, but you'd get the idea that this is okay. This is the story that happens right before because Tywin is, you know, in Game of Thrones, he's a younger man in this, and would bridge that divide. So please check out the link. This this exists just to show you the links to show Martin really said this. Here's it in animated form. I think this could work as a project. Martin himself saying this should be a novel if I ever had the time. And I'd, I'd like to see that in like the next wave of pitches in like two years from now or something.